way. I've been like getting right into movement um, lately. And I think it's honestly because it's been just like on the colder side. And I have this like yearning to yes, fall asleep, but also move my body. And the sooner I move my body, the sooner I then get to relax. So (laughs) we'll start um, on hands and knees whenever you're there and have your block towards the top of your mat, just have it close by and start right away to rock your shoulders a little bit further forward and then pull your shoulders back. So spread your fingers nice and wide as you do that and press down through the pads of your fingers here just to create a little bit of a webbing and then you'll just pull back in space. So just moving, rocking forward and back. So just focusing on that angle of your wrists, loading a little, a little bit more as you rock forward and then pulling back and then come forward. So then send your right leg behind you about hip height. So you can start to activate the right glute muscles a little bit more. And then just take a roll of the ankle here. Wake up the ankle, fan out the toes. Tuck the toes under, press back through the heel, get a stretch through the calf just for, to warm it up a bit more, lengthen it. And then spin that heel down. Now take your block that you have, bring it underneath your left hand here. And I want you to bring your hand onto that block. So then you can create a little bit more lift of the left ribs away from the ground as you reach the right hand up towards the sky. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, reach the right fingertips forward. And as you start to bring your left ribs up a little bit more, can you almost create more of an arch by lifting your right ribs up towards the ceiling? Creating a little bit more space in between them. Should be a nice little stretch here. And then you'll reach back up and bring the right hand back down. Now you can move that block off to the side. Pick that right leg up, again, hip height, and then bend the right knee. So create a 90 degree angle with that right leg. Press your right heel up just a bit more. And then you'll snug that right knee behind the left, like you're crossing your knees. Take your feet a little wider and then drive your hips back like you were coming into a child's pose. I can't come too, too far forward. My belly is in the way, of course. And then so I just want you to think about pulling your hips back And then almost reaching your heart, your sternum forward, and then maybe bowing the chest down. Stay here, take a full breath in, and a big breath out. And then you'll rock back forward, send your right leg back behind you, and then drop your right knee next to your left. Take a breath in, find cow pose. Take a breath out, find cat pose. And then you come back to neutral. Walk your hands up your thighs, you'll rise onto your knees. And just step your right foot forward. And to start, bring your hands to your hips and start to rock your hips further forward back. And then just pull them back in space. Kind of similar to what you did whenever you were on your hands, that rocking motion forward a bit. And then pull back. And then you'll rock forward. Don't sink into the hips. Keep thinking about lifting up. Place your right hand on your right thigh. Reach your left hand up towards the sky. Now I want you to maybe start to think about lifting your sternum, lift your chin, maybe even look up. And then keep that sense of lifting. Look straight ahead. Drape your left forearm over the top of your head and then just lean over to the right. So you're getting even more space in the torso and all the way down to your knee. And then reach your left hand back up. Now you're gonna take your left hand to your block, bring it inside your right foot, not all the way close to it, but where your hand would land on the ground, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, Now reach your right hand up to the sky. You're finding this sense of twist here. Now activate that back leg. Take one more inhale. So nice. And then lower that right hand down. Just then straighten 
your left leg. Now, you might even hop that foot, that back foot up a little bit more, and you might even bring your block to a higher setting here and bring it right underneath your nose. So finding pyramid pose here, I mean, to think about pulling your right hip back in space a little bit more. And of course, you can soften that front knee, feel the back of the right leg get a little bit longer as you inhale, think about a flat back here, and then stay here or fold forward. Maybe even think about softening the jaw here, softening the shoulders, softening the face. Stay for a breath in and a big breath out. And then think flat back here. Just look forward beyond the front of your mat. And then nice and easy, just step your left foot up to meet the right. Block can stay off to the side. Halfway lift here, hands to your shins or your knees. And then walk your hands up your thighs. You'll stand all the way up at the top of your mat. Flip your palms forward, shrug your shoulders as you breathe in. Draw them back and then let them release as you exhale. Do that one more time, breathe in, back and down and out. So oh, nice, now start to send weight into your left foot. And if you can, start to bend your right knee, maybe even grab for the foot here, the top of the foot. And can be a nice place to get a stretch in the quad. <laughs> you might feel it right away, just grabbing onto the foot, but I think, think about lifting up through the top of the head. If you need a wall close by for balance, go for it. And then keep the chest lifted here, but can you start to send even so slightly, send the right knee back just a little bit more. Now that might mean that you soften your left knee a little bit more to keep that balance, just to get a little bit more of a stretch in the quad. Take one more breath in, maybe even reach the left fingertips up towards the sky and then breathe out, drop the right foot down. Take a roll of the shoulders again, all directions. Now start to step your weight into the right foot. And we're gonna bring that left knee up about hip height. So holding onto your hips here, create a, an angle, that right angle with your left leg. Take a breath in, maybe even send your left heel forward. You're gonna load that quad a little bit more and then swing that leg behind you. Bend your right knee land in a high lunge here. So you're just coming up to a higher variation than where you were before. Now take your right hand, wrap it around your left wrist, lift up on an inhale, lean to the right on your exhale. Keep pressing down through your front big toe. Notice that stretch maybe through the front of the left hip. Come up on your inhale. Release the hands and then slowly, slowly, slowly can you drop your left knee down to the ground. Excellent. Untuck the back toes. And then right knee comes to meet the left. Tabletop pose. Ah, you've arrived. Take a breath in, find cow. A breath out, find cat. Do that one more time. Breathe in and out. You'll come back to neutral. See if you can engage the belly muscles. So your torso barely moves at all. Send your left leg behind you, hip height. Roll the ankle. All directions, fan out the toes. Tuck the left toes onto the ground. Press back through the heel. And then you'll spin that heel down. Take the block under your right hand. Reach the left hand up to the sky. So think about lifting up away from the ground. The right ribs lift up. The left ribs lift up. And then you reach the left fingertips forward to intensify that arch. 
one more big breath in here. So nice. And then you reach back up to the sky. Bring the left hand back down. Move that block off to the side just for a moment. And you'll pick the left leg back up. But this time, bend the left knee 90 degrees. Take a breath in. Can you load the left glutes a little more by pressing your left heel up higher? And then you'll snug the left knee behind the right. Feet go wide. Pull your hips back. Should feel really nice. Into that cross-legged child's pose variation. You can bow the head, bow the chest if that feels good. Take a breath in and out. You'll rock back forward. Send that left leg behind you and drop the left knee next to the right. Walk your hands up your thighs. Now take a moment because we've sent, spent some time on our hands this time. Just interlace your fingers, press your palms together, and then create like a figure eight or trace an infinity symbol with your knuckles just to move the wrists around in a different way. Excellent. You'll release, bring your hands to your hips. Step your left foot forward. Keep your hands on your hips. See if you can neutralize the pelvis. And then just rock the hips forward. And then pull the hips back. It can be like a micro movement here. Just to start to warm this side up a little bit more. And then you'll rock forward. Think about still lifting up with the torso, the chest, left hand comes to rest and press on your left thigh. Reach your right fingertips up towards the sky. So nice. And then you might even look up, lift the chest. A little bit more of a back bend here. And then look straight ahead. Keep reaching up towards the sky. Just drape your right arm on top of the head. And then lean your torso over to the left. Different sort of stretch here in the front of the right hip and along the right side of the body. Take one more big breath in and out. Start to reach back up towards the ceiling and you'll take your right hand down inside the left foot. Grab your block, any height that you wish. Tuck the back toes and lift the right knee up off the ground. Now see if you can keep the hips square towards the earth as you reach your left hand up towards the sky to twist. Easier said than done. Take one more big inhale right here. So nice. nice. And then lower your left hand down to that block. You might bring it on the highest setting underneath your nose. Straighten both legs and then just hop that back foot up a little bit more. Now make sure your, your feet are not on a tight rope here, not one in front of the other, but wiggle walk that right foot maybe even a little bit wider out to the right. So you can pull your left hip back. Again, to keep that pelvis almost parallel or neutral towards the ground. Take a breath in, think flat back. Stay here or fold. You can soften that left knee as much as you need. Just think about that left hip drawing back in space a bit more as you take one more breath in and a breath out. You bring your chest parallel to the ground again, look forward and step your right foot up to meet your left. Halfway lift here. Walk your hands up your thighs. Coming to standing again, palms forward. Shrug your shoulders as you breathe in. A moment to pause. And then let them fall as you exhale. One more like that. Breathe in. Draw them back and down. So nice. Now it's weight into the right foot. You'll bend your left knee, grab the top of your left foot here. And make sure that your left knee then comes close back to your right, right? So it's like almost right underneath your left hip here. Try not to let that left hip lift up too much, right? It might also topple over. 
And then when you're ready, maybe think about sending that left knee a little further back. So it doesn't have to be a huge back bend here. See if you can keep the integrity of the ab muscle. That might mean softening the right knee. Let it be buoyant. So then you can control the range of motion by just sending that left knee behind you, controlling the stretch. Can you lift up through the sternum, up through the top of the head? Maybe even reach the right fingertips up. Take one more breath in. And then release, left foot down. A moment on two feet, one inhale, maybe shrug the shoulders and exhale, let it go. Now it's weight into your left foot. Pick the right knee up, hip height, hands to your hip. That right angle with that leg. You might stay here or press your right heel forward just to load those quad muscles a little bit more. Stand up tall. And then you'll swing that right leg behind you. Tip your chest forward for a bit. Bend your left knee. And then you'll land back. High lunge. Full breath in. Breath out. Now it's your left hand wrapping around your right wrist. Lift up on an inhale. Lean to the left as you exhale. Stay here for a round of breath. In and out. Reach back up. Release the hands, but slowly drop your right knee. Left knee comes to meet the right. Tabletop pose. Breath in to find cow. Breath out. Cat. And you may rock your chest forward a bit more. Come into that plank pose, but on your knee. And then lower all the way onto your belly. And so I'm not going to lay on my belly, but I'll cue you with my words. So take your hands out a little bit wider, right? And then almost make like 90 degree angles with your arms here, with your elbows, not the hands. And then take your next big inhale to lift the chest up into cobra pose. And then maybe start to dip your left shoulder forward. Look to your right elbow. And then come back up to that wide cobra stance as you inhale. Dip your right shoulder forward. Look to your left elbow. Come back up through center, that wide stance. And then lower all the way down. Now, once you're on your belly here, take one hand on top of the other, create a little pillow for your forehead, and then bend both knees and like windshield wipers with your lower legs, your feet side to side, just let your pelvis release as you just rock side to side with the lower part of your body. And then let the legs release to the ground. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Press back up, tabletop pose. And then any final movement that you're craving here, maybe it's lateral movement, side to side. One last round of cat cow. Sometimes it feels really nice to just take a few head rolls here. And then you'll swing your legs around in front of you when you're ready. And come to a seat. Sit up tall as you breathe in. Soften your shoulders away from your ears as you exhale. And then just stay here, a little breathing exercise before we lay down. See if you can close your eyes and breathe in for the count of three. Two, one, slightly hold at the top. And then open up your mouth nice and slow. Exhale, three, two, one. Slight pause at the bottom. And then breathe in through your nose if you can. Three, two, one. Hold. Big, slow exhale. 
out. Three, two, one. And then on your own, one and half. Long exhale. Pausing here, of course, for as long as you need to. But whenever you're ready, you'll make your way onto your back. Once you're there, you can even hug your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then you'll drop your feet down towards the ground. Heel to your feet just a little bit wider than your hips here. So that's key. So you have a little bit of a wide stance. And you can keep your hands on your torso here. It feels really nice to ground down, but then just let both knees rock over to the right. And here you might get that stretch that you're craving in your quad muscle, just in a different way. Sometimes it feels even nicer to reach your left hand up overhead. For me, that intensifies that stretch. Some people like to bring their right heel on top of the leg. I find that that brings a different bit of stretch to it, but more of a twist. So it is all a personal preference. If you want gravity to do the work for you, I think that's great. And then you'll come back to center and let both knees then fall over to your left side. See if you can keep that right shoulder blade heavy towards the ground. Maybe reach your right arm alongside your right ear. And come back up through center. Any final shapes that you feel like you need. Maybe it's even sending your feet up towards the sky, giving a little bit of a shake in the legs, a roll in the ankles. And then you can make your way to a final place of resting. Let your legs relax, let your arms maybe even come down along your sides or your hands can even rest on your torso. Once you've arrived there, take a big breath in. See if you can feel all the way up and feel your body expand or notice it rise. And then that slow exhale out to feel the ease the softening from your toes all the way out through the top of your head. So softening the fingers, and the jaw, even the features of your face. Allowing your body to relax and then also notice if your mind is in a place of softening and ease and relaxation as well. And then if you find that it wants to be somewhere else or just naturally is more active today, maybe you bring it back to your breath. If your mind drifts, bring it back to that inhale and exhale. Breath in. 
breath out. Start to first go gently. Find intuitive movement in your body. So whether that's in your fingers, in your toes, maybe even a rock of the head. Gently side to side. Roll of the wrists, the roll of the ankles, maybe even a long body stretch. Take what you need here. And start to bend your knees. You'll roll to the side of your choice and just press yourself up to return to that just easy seat here. Once you're there, sit up nice and tall, chest broad and proud. You might even bring your hands together in front of your heart. And because it's our first time together for this new year, maybe you, if you haven't already, set some sort of intention or a word. I like to choose one word every year. Is hopefully something I can come back to as an intention for the year. Something I'd like to bring in a little bit more of or embody a little bit more of. So either bring to mind that word or start to ponder what it might be here. And take a breath in. A long sigh out. And maybe even take your thumb tips to the center of your forehead. Maybe lift your face, lift your chin. As always, letting this practice be a reminder of a way we can be kind to ourselves and remember that no effort is ever wasted, no matter how big or small. Namaste.